<laughs> hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another episode of Rugby Fit. I'm Greg O'Shea, and in this series, we're trying to find rugby's toughest pre-season. So as you can see, I have Connetly Scarless gear on, and we're in Parky Scarless training ground. This place is called The Barn, but we're not actually doing rugby today. We're doing a bit of wrestling with top UK jiu-jitsu wrestler, Ashley Williams. So I'm gonna get stuck in now. I've never done wrestling before, but it should be a lot of fun, a lot of crack. Let's get involved. Uh, we're gonna start off with here. Um, we're just gonna loosen up a little bit of case pummeling, and then we'll get straight into the drill one of the day. So I really want you to be working on getting good contact. Release it and move it. I know you're excited. I know I'm excited too. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. One, two, three. Take a partner. Rugby League has had wrestling coaches for probably 20 plus years. It's a big part of their program and there's a lot of similarities uh, between rugby and, and league. And I was, I was lucky enough to spend some time with the Melbourne Storm and I, I got to see how they implemented their wrestling into their program and how it can work together to improve the rugby. Did you enjoy this wrestling? No. <laughs> no. Hello, that's good, that's good. That's good. Let's throw by, right? You're trying to punch your hand to the ceiling. Shoulder to your ear, good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Two step behind, and look at the back body mark, okay? Big boy, yeah. <laughs> you want to try me first? Yeah. Oh, there he is! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Pre-season, there's a lot of going on between rugby and, and different sorts of conditioning sessions. So, if one is something a bit fresh, we're quite fortunate to have good coaches come in. Okay, if we're going like this, they kind of brought me in and said, look, we want them to be having good contact sessions, but with very minimal risk of injury or collision. I could really see myself getting into this kind of stuff. Just body control. You see guys standing there and you think they're doing nothing. <laughs> My God, it's tiring. So this is up there, Scarlett. They're not messing around. Feel the weight, feel the weight every time. Some people are sweating mad. Other people are all up cold and dry. Let's increase the physicality. Let's go, let's go. One of the best things I think about it for rugby is the breakdown areas of trying to get back up. You know, we can't teach them to be like submission wrestlers in six weeks, but we can give them a limited set of skills that would encourage them to use their body uh, in a more direct fashion. Okay, we're about halfway through the session. I'm with the forwards, I'm the smallest boy. At least 20 kegs, but I'm bringing a good attitude. It's a lot of fun. Let's go, fella. Ready? <laughs> Go on, Ella. Put the weight on, put the weight on, let's go. Rugby is very much a, a collision sport, um, but we're not always in the collision for very long. As in for wrestling, like the the distance between it is shorter. But once you once you're in that one-on-one -on -one situation, you've got someone's weight on you the whole time, which which again is something different for our players. And, and we've found that in the short time we've been doing it, some good benefits through it, um, you know, through their agility and, and footwork. God, going against these big boys, some lads are like 120, 130 kg. Shingler's like 6'8 or something, so definitely turn into the deep end, but as long as you bring a gratitude, that's all that matters. A little bit of running in the middle helps as well. I better go. All you've got to do is a person real stop, rocks, rocks. You understand the jump? Okay? If it's done well, it looks really good. If it's done poorly, it looks absolutely dog shit. Okay? So, uh, we're just going to slow the show, okay? So, like, I drop, then I roll, then you jump, then you drop, and then you roll. Yeah? Three, two, one, go! I got told last week, uh, this guy Greg was come in. I didn't know who Greg was, uh, but my wife was actually like, oh, yeah, he's won Love Island. What am I going to do with a guy who's won Love Island in a rugby session, you know? Because obviously when I locked him up and he done, and, and he's on the first in Olympia, and uh, he's the next rugby player. And uh, I was like, oh, okay, he's probably going to be game. But I didn't really be that game. You know, like he came in and uh, he's grabbed the ball and home big time. All right, we're all done. I am 
absolutely shattered. That was something I've never done before. A bit of wrestling, a bit of grappling. It was definitely one of the hardest things I've done there. I would say at least, at least a nine, if not a 9.5 out of 10. I wrestled everyone across the board, everyone from Shingler to Jonathan Davies to Lee Halfpenny, and man, those guys are strong. But they're good fun, there's a good vibe here in Scarlet. So I really enjoyed that session. If you enjoyed it too, please give the video a like, comment what you thought about it, and please remember to subscribe to World Rugby for all the Rugby Fit episodes. Thanks a million, guys.